Leaders of Omaha Public Schools brief Nebraska lawmakers over special education staffing issues. Thanks for joining us, I'm Bill Shammert. Right now, three Omaha schools have nobody to fill the role of a special educator. As KETV Newswatch 7's Joey Safchak reports, families affected were only given a few days notice. The Education Committee today convening out of session and grilling OPS on issues specifically relating to special education students and their families. One state senator even thanking the district for taking, quote, friendly fire. In the state's largest school district, 21% of students have an Individualized Education Plan, or IEP. State Senator Luann Linehan alludes to a vicious cycle, high caseloads leading to more resignations, leading to fewer teachers with higher caseloads. And each case is a kid. Our staff was recruiting qualified employees throughout the entire summer. Our organization worked tirelessly to avoid impacting students, and we continue to recruit teachers and do so year-round. Three schools in North Omaha have no special ed teachers this year. So more than 130 families at those schools were given a choice just days before heading back. Switch campuses with the promise of door-to-door -door transportation or forego their students' special education services. The problem, this mom says, the bus didn't arrive to pick her son up from school several times after he transferred. My son would ask me every day when he knew that I was picking him up. He was like, Mom, how come the school bus is not here? to pick me up. My son was, you know, scared. Um, he didn't know any better. OPS representatives say all five special education teachers at the three North Omaha schools in question either resigned or transferred. What is also, I, I'm going to be really honest here, really shocking to me as a state senator is the lack of communication. The senators press OPS on other solutions like contractors or sharing educators from other schools. In addition to the racial justice considerations, I'm concerned about with how this is playing out in North Omaha. Yes, we did consider whether we could move, we should move staff from other schools to the three affected schools. Ultimately, we determined that such a move would have a ripple effect, affecting even more students and families. And State Senator Daniel Conrad wants the record to reflect no one from the Nebraska Department of Education testified today. In Lincoln, Joey Safchik, KETV, Newswatch 7.